if you need to disconnect your battery, whether to replace it or to perform a repair on your vehicle that requires the battery to be disconnected. The first thing you want to do is turn off the ignition and close your doors. Make sure your radio and your lights are turned off. Once you've confirmed everything is shut off, identify your positive and negative terminals. On this particular vehicle, it is pretty obvious which one is which. The positive side is covered with a nice red cover with a big plus sign on it. But if there is no cover, you can identify the positive side by the red terminal clamp, red wires, or red terminal protector pad. However, if everything on your battery is plain black, look at the battery itself. Oftentimes, the positive and negative terminals will be marked. If you can't find any markings, positive terminal will usually be slightly bigger than the negative to prevent you from crossing the wires over when installing a new battery. Also, positive side will usually have more wires coming off of it and they will be thicker, while the negative side will have less and they will be thinner. But the most bulletproof method to tell which terminal is which is to follow the wires. The negative side will be bolted directly to the body of the car and to the engine block or the transmission case. Which is exactly what we see here. Although this ground wire corroded away and broke off, it was meant to be bolted on to this bare metal bracket on the transmission. Positive side cable, on the other hand, will go to your fuse box and to the starter and alternator. Once we've identified the polarity of our terminals, we finally get to our question. Which of the two terminals should be disconnected first? First, you disconnect the negative side. See, the negative side is already bolted to the body of the car. So if you accidentally touch something with your tool while loosening the clamp, nothing is going to happen. But if you were to disconnect the positive side first, Touching any bare metal with your wrench would immediately cause a short circuit with sparks and fireworks. Once you loosen the clamp, you can twist it off the terminal. Make sure to tuck the wire away so it's not touching the terminal. Ideally, you want to place it below the terminal, like this. Otherwise, you tuck your wire away somewhere up here and start working on your engine, yanking and pulling on stuff, the cable might slip out and touch the terminal, reconnecting the circuit. Once your negative side is disconnected, you are safe to perform further repairs on your vehicle. If you're replacing your battery, you can disconnect the positive side without any fear of causing a short circuit. Same goes for your alternator and starter. Airbags, however, require at least a 15 minute wait or more after disconnecting the battery. Please refer to your vehicle's service manual for proper procedures. Once you're done with your repairs, connect the battery in reverse order, which means connect the positive side first and the negative side last. An easy way to remember, negative side is like a doorway to repairs. You open it to go in, and when you're done with everything, you leave and you close it last. If this video cleared up a thing or two for you, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who would find it helpful, and if I missed some tips, leave them in the comments below. On this note, thank you for watching, good luck, and take care.